Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download, install and use Motion Blur, the real, real Motion Blur 4.01 in After Effects. Uh, what this is, it's all like, just, well what it says really, it's a Motion Blur kind of third party plugin that you can add to a lot of your clips and video and the media and if you just look at this preview going along here uh, you see that you got some blur and every time you drastically move it's kind of blurry uh, it's been quite commonly used and um, today I'm just going to be showing you how to get and use this so first things first go to the link in the description and it's what is it it's revision fx go to the download in the bottom right corner go to the first little blue tab and just go to windows and just go to save file. Well, I'm going to open the file. Uh, and like so, it should bring up this when it's done. And just go to extract to desktop. Uh, yes to all, because I've already did it, so we need to do that. But yeah, it should be on the desktop, and you should have something like this. And I did not mean to click it. I need to cancel it, like so, yeah. And it should bring up this little symbol here. So right click, run as administrator, if you're using Vista or Windows 7. Next, yes, and choose which kind of which version that you have. I'm not going to use it for another program, and I do not have CS4. CS3 is any uh, After Effects that seems to work on my computer. So just go to next. And you're going to go to program files, Adobe, After Effects, CS3 for me, support files, and go down to plugins and just click OK. Now I'll ask you for your username. Uh, copy the username from the description. TMX4 2010, whatever. Oh, accidentally gone off it there. And then this serial, you just copy it and then control V to paste it. And now install regular GUI version. And it will start to install here. And let's come up with this message, just hit OK. Uh, no, you do not want to restart your computer now. I do hope it works. And there you should have it installed. So I'm going to go ahead and close After Effects for now. No, I do not want to save. And I'm going to open it again. After Effects CS3. And I'm just going to close some of these to clean up my computer. That's about downloads. Close that. Uh, if you type in, in the serial username, you want to make sure that you get... It is case sensitive, basically, so... You want to make sure that you have the small H and the capital Q, whatever. So, yeah, I'm just going to go to import. I'm going to import my clip, which is my 4-in-1 RPG. Drag that into a new composition, like so. And go to Effect, RE Vision Plugins, and RSMB. Now, the blur amount, I'll probably change to 1. Um, and the motion sensitivity to 1 as well. Well, 100, sorry. And just go ahead and render this out here. You can obviously change the blur amount depending on how harsh you want it to be, and also the sensitivity depending kind of how how much blurriness there is. For example, if you're going to be moving a little bit, then it probably won't pick it up as much, and if you're moving a lot, it kind of will not just be as strong really, and it probably won't pick up a lot of the areas. But even as you can see in this kind of preview here, as it's doing the RAM preview, you can see that you, the blur is starting to happen. And this clip is quite sped up as well, as you see, he kind of has time to run in, shoot his RPG and run off all in four seconds. Which is pretty good timing. Not time, yeah, pretty fast. Uh, so I'm not sure what happened, I think he just speeds up in After Effects. Uh, but now that one's going to play it now, because you'll probably get the gist. You see the motion blur there. And there you have it, you have real motion blur, whatever it's called. Real soft motion blur, just guessed from RSMB. Not too sure, but go ahead, download it, use it. Uh, use it in a lot of your videos. And uh, Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon.